Sister Zhuoma, brother, I think it's very interesting to read the article on psychic people you published. Shangxi is really a place where people are outstanding. No wonder Manjushri Bodhisattva wants to establish a dojo in Shangxi. I went to Shangxi to study in September. In the place between Ning County and Dadong mentioned by the resident in the article, I saw and heard a lot of strange things, which was breathtaking. Coincidentally, I went to a small monastery in the back mountain of Wutai, Xinzhou with my local fellow monks. The name of the temple is Lanro Temple, which has the same name as the temple in the ghost of Qianu. At that time, I went to Chao Yingling. The year before last, the Taiwanese residents formed a group to charter two buses to worship Wutai Mountain. When going down the mountain, the accompanying leader, a tantric master, clearly watched Lanro Temple in Dingzhong, and even the route to the monastery was clear. At that time, the mage decided to postpone the date of returning to Taiwan and immediately asked the driver to change the lane and go straight to Lanro Temple. You know, that small temple is in the mountains, and people who hate and tea, then there can't he find the way at all. However, the mage, who had never been to the mainland, instructed the driver to come to the gate of the temple without any difference. King Lianchi, that is, the master of Tantra, who went to Longro Temple in Wutai Mountain, must have his fate. Senior Sister Zhuoma, hung. The Taiwanese master explained to all the priests present that he should repent and worship Buddha here. This dojo is extremely successful. When the monks in Taiwan saw that the temple was too remote and the conditions were too harsh, they determined to repair a road to the mountain gate. There is more incredible. The head of the monastery is a second monk in his seventies the name for female monks in Buddhism, and the precepts are extremely rigorous. When he was not a monk, he protected Longroa Temple, and has been living in this temple since he became a monk. The master said that when she was not a monk, she had big eyes, double eyelids and was tall. A few months after becoming a monk, I woke up one morning and couldn't he open my eyes, thinking that I was sick. King Lienke, how about next? Sister Zhuoma, it was hard to open my eyes. When I looked in the mirror, I found that my eyes had become small eyes with a single eyelid, and my clothes had also become longer. It turned out that I suddenly became shorter. I was so scared that my master didn't he dare to go out for a few days. King Lienke, this is really amazing. What is generally recorded in the Buddhist scriptures is that when a good man or a good woman converts to Buddha and makes a vow to be a monk, must fall on his own and wear a loin. Due to the great power of Buddha, these were completed in an instant. In addition, it is often heard that there are many cases of single eyelids becoming double eyelids for women who practice green maternal heart spells. The change of acting Sanashi is caused by his predestinental desire and fate. Sister Zhuoma, when the master guarded Lanroa Temple, it was abandoned. The shepherds used this place as a sheep pen, which was built and restored by the master himself brick by brick. At that time, there was only the main hall, and all the Buddha statues had fallen. The master walked more than 20 miles of mountain road under the mountain and carried mud up the mountain by himself to build a Buddha platform. All the Buddha platforms are almost built, and there is only one corner with a little mud. The master wants to carry the mud in a few days. As a result, an incredible thing happened. King Lienke, what is the matter? Sister Zhuoma, master had to go around the Buddha in the morning and evening after class. As soon as he walked to the corner, he saw a man with a black face, wearing ancient clothes and a long beard looking at her with a calm face. The master thought to himself, regardless of him, I will go around my Buddha. However, every time that person looked at the master unhappily, there was nothing he could do. The master had to go down the mountain to carry the mud and make up the corner. From then on, the black-faced man did not look at the master again. King Lianchi, it seems to be the guardian god of the temple. Sister Zhuoma, master has raised a little money to reshape the Buddha statue. However, I don't he know where Shakyamuni Buddha should be enshrined. Just as the master hesitated, he saw the golden body of Shakyamuni Buddha appear in the center of the hall, and the golden body, clothing, handprints, and height all appeared to the master. The master sculpted the statue of the world venerable according to the image at that time. Sister Zhuoma, brother, I think it's very interesting to read the article on psychic people you published. Shangxi is really a place where people are outstanding. No wonder Manjushri Bodhisattva wants to establish a dojo in Shangxi. I went to Shangxi to study in September. In the place between Ning County and Dadong mentioned by the resident in the article, I saw and heard a lot of strange things, which was breathtaking. Coincidentally, I went to a small monastery in the back mountain of Wutai, Xinzhou with my local fellow monks. The name of the temple is Lanroa Temple, which has the same name as the temple in the ghost of Qianu. At that time, I went to Chao Yingling. The year before last, the Taiwanese residents formed a group to charter two buses to worship Wutai Mountain. When going down the mountain, the accompanying leader, a tantric master, 
clearly watched Lanra Temple in Dingzhong, and even the route to the monastery was clear. At that time, the mage decided to postpone the date of returning to Taiwan and immediately asked the driver to change the lane and go straight to Lanra Temple. You know, that small temple is in the mountains, and people who hate and keep, then there can't he find the way at all. However, the mage, who had never been to the mainland, instructed the driver to come to the gate of the temple without any difference. King Lianchi, that is, the master of Tantra, who went to Longro Temple in Wutai Mountain, must have his fate. Senior sister Zhuoma, Hung. The Taiwanese master explained to all the priests present that he should repent and worship Buddha here. This dojo is extremely successful. When the monks in Taiwan saw that the temple was too remote and the conditions were too harsh, they determined to repair a road to the mountain gate. There is more incredible. The head of the monastery is a second monk in his 70s the name for female monks in Buddhism, and the precepts are extremely rigorous. When he was not a monk, he protected Lanroa Temple, and has been living in this temple since he became a monk. The master said that when she was not a monk, she had big eyes, double eyelids and was tall. A few months after becoming a monk, I woke up one morning and couldn't he open my eyes, thinking that I was sick. King Lienke, how about next? Sister Zhuoma, it was hard to open my eyes. When I looked in the mirror, I found that my eyes had become small eyes with a single eyelid, and my clothes had also become longer. It turned out that I suddenly became shorter. I was so scared that my master didn't he dare to go out for a few days. King Lienke, this is really amazing. What is generally recorded in the Buddhist scriptures is that when a good man or a good woman converts to Buddha and makes a vow to be a monk, must fall on his own and wear a loin. Due to the great power of Buddha, these were completed in an instant. In addition, it is often heard that there are many cases of single eyelids becoming double eyelids for women who practice green maternal heart spells. The change of acting Sanashi is caused by his predestinental desire and fate. Sister Zhuoma, when the master guarded Lanroa Temple, it was abandoned. The shepherds used this place as a sheep pen, which was built and restored by the master himself brick by brick. At that time, there was only the main hall, and all the Buddha statues had fallen. The master walked more than 20 miles of mountain road under the mountain and carried mud up the mountain by himself to build a Buddha platform. All the Buddha platforms are almost built, and there is only one corner with a little mud. The master wants to carry the mud in a few days. As a result, an incredible thing happened. King Lienke, what is the matter? Sister Zhuoma, master had to go around the Buddha in the morning and evening after class. As soon as he walked to the corner, he saw a man with a black face, wearing ancient clothes and a long beard looking at her with a calm face. The master thought to himself, regardless of him, I will go around my Buddha. However, every time that person looked at the master unhappily, there was nothing he could do. The master had to go down the mountain to carry the mud and make up the corner. From then on, the black-faced man did not look at the master again. King Lianchi, it seems to be the guardian god of the temple. Sister Zhuoma, master has raised a little money to reshape the Buddha statue. However, I don't he know where Shakyamuni Buddha should be enshrined. Just as the master hesitated, he saw the golden body of Shakyamuni Buddha appear in the center of the hall, and the golden body, clothing, handprints, and height all appeared to the master. The master sculpted the statue of the world venerable according to the image at that time. Senior Sister Zhuoma, the second time I went up the mountain, I went with a senior, and I talked to the master very late. That elder brother is a man, and the master asked him to go to the opposite house to rest. As a result, maybe he was too tired and sleepy, and he didn't he worship Buddha in the room that room worshipped Amitba Buddha, Jizong King Bodhisattva and Guanin Bodhisattva. So he went straight to the Khan to make a bed. As soon as he macked the bed, he turned around and saw a general in golden armor standing at the door, looking at him unhappily. He said that he was scared on the spot, and immediately closed his palms and said tremblingly, I'm going to stay here for a while tonight. I've already told my master. The general didn't he leave until he finished talking. The next day, he opened his eyes and told his master about it. The master said that it was Vida Bodhisattva. King Lianchi, according to ancient cases, way to Bodhisattva is indeed very strict, and he still deals harshly with breaking the precepts. For those who practice truth, they must be at the law. In the last century, there was a master who wanted to ask for Dharma, and Vida Bodhisattva appeared and told him how much money to give him. Later, he did get a few things to use to seek the law and practice the law. Senior Sister Zhuoma, when several local priests in Xinzhou heard about this, they wanted to go up the mountain to worship and go down the mountain to see it. Wow! What a big temple! There are mountain gates, the Tianwang Hall, the tower, the bell and drum tower, and the Zhangjing building behind the hall. They also wondered why such a big monastery didn't he know before. As a result, when I went up the mountain, I saw a small temple, 
not even a backyard. What the resident of Xinzhou saw should be the appearance of the Bodhisattva. The master of Taiwan saw it in Dingzhong, and the resident saw it directly at the foot of the mountain. King Lianqi, another time and space where Lanrua Temple is located, where saints may lie there. In ancient public cases, people often saw holy monks and temple pavilions in the mountains and fields, and they were gone as soon as they came out. I have mentioned it in the article today S. Life is the Sun and the Moon. And the bhikkhu who will lie to the era of Mithraya Buddha and a brief talk about the end of Nanshan, in the Langyan Sutra, the Buddha said, nowadays, the world is in the wilderness and the mountains. The holy road site. They are all the abbots of Arhat. The rough people in the world can key see it. Nowadays, the wilderness, deep mountains, and holy places are all abbots of Arhat, which cannot be seen by mortals in the world. Master Fashing, the abbot of Fashion Temple in Thailand, once said in the program Dream, in the deep mountains and forests of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, Tibet, China and Nepal, there are many people who have proved the fruits of Taoism. In particular, the practitioners of Zongjin Cave and Buffalo Mountain in Cambodia are all strange people who have magic powers and have entered various Zen realms. They can shrink into inches and disappear or become invisible out of thin air. Some can fly over the walls, and some even have a lifespan of more than 200 or 400 years. Senior Sister Shulma, there is another treasure in the temple, that is, it is said that Manjushri Bodhisattva came to Wutai Mountain and poked the ground with a hairpin. Since then, there has been a spring eye, which will never dry up and can cure all kinds of diseases. The master has repeatedly said that let us drink more water here, which can. Industry A relative of a resident priest was paralyzed and went up the mountain to ask his master to help him repent. The master read him a scripture and asked him to take the spring water down the mountain, boil the sick body every day, and said that it would be wrapped in ten days. As a result, he went down the mountain to wash every day, and it was fine in four days. He happily went up the mountain to report to the master. The master said that I dreamed of you. The spring water is also magical. People with light karma drink it sweetly, but people with heavy karma drink it bitterly. King Lianchi, this spring water has a blessing power. The magic spell of the non-empty silk rope is in the wilderness, and the cultivation of water from the earth, and the sweet spring can cure diseases. Sister Zhuoma, the first time I went up the mountain was to surpass the infant spirit. Even the dead of my family also wrote the card position. More than ten days after going down the mountain, I had a dream. I dreamed that a banquet was set up in a place like a small auditorium. My grandmother deceased and many people invited Mr. Xi to dinner. At that time, I was quite happy. Mr. Xi came to my house for dinner. He sat down, accompanied by my grandmother, and there was a table of people. Then Mr. Xi said that your house is quite big, but it needs to be well decorated. My grandmother pointed to the front and said, that sought the place of other people as temples and they can keep be decorated casually. Later, I told my master about this dream. The master said that it would be enough to have a place to live. The Manjushri Bodhisattva Hall has not been built. How can there be money to decorate for them? The second time I went up the mountain, I asked for a statue of Jianjai Bodhisattva in the temple and was ready to send it. At that time, I made a good talk with a senior brother. The next morning, he sent me there. As a result, I slept the first afternoon and dreamed that the master and an old monk in an apron were standing next to the stove and talking. The old priest told me to go quickly, and I woke up and didn't keep, take it seriously. When I woke up, I called the senior brother who took me up the mountain to confirm the time to go up the mountain tomorrow. As a result, the senior brother said, let us go now. I just thought that maybe the protection of the law was urging us. King Lianchi, as for dreaming of a human king, as mentioned in the quasi-mentioned method, Holding a quasi mantra will dream of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, emperors, sunlight, and flying. All of which represent the destruction of sin and increasing blessings. Senior Sister Zhuoma, there is one more thing that the Master told us. Last winter was very cold. After work, the Master came in from outside and wanted to roast the fire by the stove. After roasting, he turned around and roasted his back. He heard a man's voice saying, Don Ti move forward. If you go further, you will sit on my face. The master didn't he dare to turn his back to the stove again. The master said it was the king of the stove. The master's practice is quite good. He is Qi Shibai years old. The Buddha's name is non-stop every day. They don't tea eat after lunch, and they don't tea let us talk when we eat. When we have nothing to do, we worship Buddha and grow vegetables by ourselves. The top of the master as had used to be flat, but now it stands out. Sister Zhuoma, when I went up the mountain for the first time, because there were several seniors in the same class, I had to prepare for the mage. 
The master was very busy and took a little time to talk to us. At that time, I was talking to the master alone. The master was very merciful. She asked me a few questions about my life, pointed out my shortcomings in the world, and asked me to repent and practice well, so as not to ruin my life. I was stunned on the spot, because when I met my master for the first time, she knew my shortcomings and private problems that I didn't he want to say. I was surprised. When I left the room, I asked an old resident who was quite familiar with the master, did the master have magic? The old monk said quite positively that the master has great power, but he never shows magic power. If he has no magic power and no cultivation, how can he live in this monastery in the barren mountain for decades? Postscript of King Lianchi, Top Salute Manjushri Shirley Bodhisattva. Master Xiang, the top gift. Thank you, Sister Zhuoma, for your wonderful sharing. Wutai Mountain is the permanent residence of Manjushri Bodhisattva, and it is also one of the most powerful holy places on earth. Although it is burned, it is strong and not bad. I have been to Wutai Mountain twice, both when I was in college. Before I went there, I dreamed of Wutai Mountain at least five times, and what I saw was different from the real Wutai Mountain. One of them, I saw a golden mountain, which was full of temples, towering into the clouds and clouds. It is known as Wutai Mountain in the dream, but it is inconsistent with what you see in reality. The cool climate of Wutai Mountain corresponds to the coolness of Manjushri. The Huayan Sutra says, the Bodhisattva's cool moon swims in the sky after all. The light shines on the three worlds, and the mind is all exposed. The incense guests came to the famous mountain ancient temple only for fame and fortune. And practitioners should go there for relief. The Manjushri moon is always shining, and the cool Dharma world is all over the void. May every sentient being who goes to Wutai Mountain be able to win the victory of relief with Manjushri Bodhisattva and prove Bodhi. The eighth wish of Manjushri Bodhisattva, if sentient beings create all sins and fall to the ground there is no end to the prison, and after immeasurable disasters. He suffered from all kinds of troubles. He was born from hell. First, he was a beast and returned his life to his previous life. He was burdened as a camel, donkey, pig, dog, cattle, sheep, elephant, horse, slave to his servants, to pay his debt, to pay for his life, and to return his theft. There was no rest. I am transformed in the five ways, and I am often born in the same world and edified by people. Or be poor, hard, blind, dumb, dumb, and beggars. Among all sentient beings, colleagues of the same kind and peers are guided into the Buddha's way. Together, I am destined to develop the heart of Bodhi. Manjushri Bodhisattva made a wish to attract sinners and karma sentient beings, the same kind, the same fate, the same fate, the same colleague, and the same business, and entered the Buddha's way. Manjushri Bodhisattva has his incarnation not only in Wutai Mountain, but also in the six ways, in any field and in any time and space. There may be disabled people such as poor and hardship, blind and deaf, or turned into their family and colleagues. Perhaps, the master who guides you to get started, the resident who has helped you, and even the parents you meet every day. Or the beggars on the street, hard-working office workers may be the followers of Manjushri, but mortals can keep, identify them. With the power of holy desire, the great Saint Manchu does not enter the three worlds and does not leave the three worlds. His heart is like the void. He is often in the pure sea of Buddha, living in the Dharma world, and the mind and body of all sentient beings. Manchushi Lian, I have a great wish to use the power of holy nature, add affection, so that sin and dirt can be eliminated, and the holy fruit of Bodhi Buddhas can be obtained.